I have come to Khao Soi Lung Surin. The only question is, do I have chicken or do I have beef? Let's go find out how good this Khao Soi is. I cannot wait to try these two dishes of cow soy. And yes, I know, a little greedy, but I haven't had breakfast. So we're gonna say that the cow soy guy, the chicken cow soy, is breakfast, and the beef cow soy can be my lunch. That makes me feel less guilty about ordering two bowls, but hey, how often am I gonna be up here? And apparently it's amazing. And she said both were great, so why not order both? Now, I've eaten a lot of cow soy, but this one, I mean, it looks amazing. It looks so creamy. Like the normal cow soy, you've got that creamy coconut chili sauce. You can just see the chili oil floating on top of that sauce. It looks very spicy. You've got the uh, egg noodles, and then you've got the crispy fried noodles on top. This one is with chicken. So you've got some chicken legs in there too. And then you've got the spring onions chopped on top. But wow, that one looks good. And if that one looks good, just wait for this, this is the beef one. Look at the depth of color in that sauce. Same again with the oil. I haven't even added any extra chili yet. Just look at that. But this one, you can just see the richness of that beef. It looks like it's just gonna fall apart. Oh, it's so soft. And then on the side you have pickle mustard greens here and these onions which I'm not a big fan of raw onion. Usually it's too strong, but these are so sweet. There's no sharpness or strength to them at all. They're very, very tasty. So these get put into the cow soy. I'll probably add some of this chili paste too, which he tells me is very, very spicy. So I need to be careful with that. And then I think we'll be good to go. I think I'm gonna start with the chicken because I expect that to be less rich than the beef. And I'm just gonna try the sauce as it is without adding anything to it. So I just want to get the flavor from that sauce. Mm. Such a clean sauce. Very, very chickeny. And that sounds strange, but chicken in, well, in the States and in Europe doesn't really taste of chicken. But here you get the depth of flavor from that chicken straight through the broth. Yes, it's rich and creamy, but it's very light and it's not as spicy as I expected. So I will be adding some of the chili paste, which they have warned me about multiple times. And you can just smell <laughs> how strong and spicy that is. So first up, I think I'll add some of these pickled mustard greens. They look fantastic. A few of these sweet onions, which like I said, normally I can't eat onions, but they're amazing. The sweetness that comes from the onion. And then some of this devil chili paste. So a good dob of that in there. Mix it in. Get those crunchy noodles all mixed in with that sauce. And finally, just a touch of lemon juice just to cut through that richness. I quite like acidity in my food, so let's go with that. That is looking much better now. Loaded, well, for my standards, with chili. Okay. Mmm. Exactly the same, that hit of flavor that chickeny goodness, but now with the warmth of the chili cutting through it, is exactly what you need on a cloudy, rainy day.
And you know what? On a lot of the other cow soy that I've eaten, it's very, very soupy. It is more like a noodle soup, but this, the sauce is a bit thicker and there's more noodles in the bowl. So that delicious sauce coats those noodles to perfection. Mmm. The pickled mustard greens are fantastic as well. There's a bit of spice to them, but sometimes they're a bit too salty, but these are perfect. Good acidity. Really complements that rich, coconutty, spicy gravy that goes with these noodles. And it is a chicken cow soy after all, so let's try that chicken. Mmm, the meatiness, the flavour. You have not tried chicken until you try chicken like this. Chicken that actually tastes chickeny. And such a pleasure to eat compared to that chicken you get in the supermarket back home that just tastes like a texture in your mouth. I think this really has to be the best chicken cow soy I've had in Chiang Mai. You know when you just taste the food that makes you happy? There are not many things that beat that feeling. Okay. Last spoon of the chicken cow soy. Mm. I can't believe how good it is. There are places in Chiang Mai which are known to have very good cow soy and obviously it's each to their own, it's personal preference, but I've eaten at them and for me nothing comes close to that. Chicken, done. Next up, lunch. <laughs> we're moving on from breakfast to lunch and we're going to have the beef cow soy. That chilli is spicy. <laughs> they didn't lie about that. My nose is running, but it's not going to stop me trying this beef cow soy. And like the first one, like the chicken cow soy, I'm just going to try it on its own. And I think that's a good tip because it's very tempting to throw anything you see on the table into it. And actually, if you are scared about putting the condiments, you should put the condiments. Everyone puts the condiments in their food, so the turnover is high. You shouldn't worry about what's sat on the table. But do definitely taste your food first. So you know the level of spice, you know how salty it is, you know roughly what it needs. So that's what I always do anyway. Wow. Mmm. It's a very, very smoky sauce. I don't know where it gets it from, but that... That might even be better than the chicken cow soy, but I'll decide that when I finish the bowl. First, the condiments. A touch of this lemon juice. Like I said, just to break through the richness, especially the smoke. But these mustard greens are sour anyway because they're fermented, so you don't need too much acidity beyond that. So get those mustard greens in there. Again, some of those onions. And then again for another spoon of that dry chili. I think we're ready to mix and get all that goodness into that cow soy. Let's get that chili mixed through the sauce because you don't want a mouthful of that on its own. Okay, mixed to perfection. Now let's try that sauce. Mm. The chili makes all the difference. Maybe she gave me a less spicy version because I'm Farang and she felt sorry for me. But once you add all that chili in, it just takes it onto another level. Mmm, wow. The richness of that beef. And it's the beef where the smokiness is coming from. Maybe, I don't know what they do to it. Maybe they grill it before they stew it to get the smokiness into it. But it just gives it another layer of flavor. One which I haven't really tasted in cow soy, the smokiness. normally pretty good with chopsticks. In fact, I would say I'm, well, I'm, I'm not entirely very good. I'm good with chopsticks, but for some reason, <laughs> I'm struggling with these ones. I feel like a novice again. Let's get some of those noodles. Nice, soft, chewy noodles. Mm, some of that beef and then. The crunchy fried noodles on top. That's why cow soy is such a genius dish. I mean, who doesn't love a rich, creamy coconut broth? Yes, you may or may not like chili, but in this case, it works very well. Have your soft noodles to 
fill you up and then on top of the crunch, the texture. That is what I really, really love about cow soy. It's that layering of flavor and texture. Something that's so important in good food that is absolutely nailed in this dish. You know what? This sauce, <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but this sauce very much reminds me of a sauce that my grandfather, who was Italian, used to make every Sunday. He used to make this rich beef ragu to go with pasta. He did add chili, but not like this. There's obviously a different uh, way of spicing this sauce. But that richness and the, the thickness of that gravy, the beefiness in that gravy, is giving me a flashback to that memory of his beef sauce. Which I didn't expect to have <laughs> in a hill tribe village in Thailand. <laughs> it is hard to compare between the chicken and the beef, but if you want something more light, still rich, but light on the stomach, go with the chicken. If you want something heavier, if it's a bit cooler up here, and you want something that really warms your body, as well as your stomach, I think the beef is the one you choose. Or you just do what I did and have both, and then you can't complain. And for the quality, the price is great too. The beef cow soy is 75 baht and the chicken cow soy is 60 baht, which, trust me, is incredible value for the quality of those noodles. That's it guys, Chiang Mai's best cow soy. See you in the next video.